Mother Nature already providing that early start to the 4th of July fireworks. Those recent lightning strikes have firefighters on edge. Case Area 3's David Beanick is live for us in Auburn right now with how the lightning's already led to some new fires, David. Colston, good afternoon. Yes, we've had reports of at least a dozen new fires just today. Uh, firefighters say none of them have grown very big at this point, but they say the fires they worry about most are the ones they don't yet see. You, you need to get out and take a really good look. High in a fire tower near Grass Valley, Judy Tenike, a volunteer lookout, peers through a set of binoculars at the surrounding hilltops. We're looking between um, 20 miles to 40 miles out. Most Tenike knows new fire starts are extremely possible today. Following nearly 2,900 lightning strikes across California yesterday and this morning, especially hard hit the area around Sierraville and Loyalton, where firefighters have already found 11 new fires. So we've been really looking around quite a bit this morning because the fires can pop up uh, days after the strike. At CAL FIRE'S Air Base in Grass Valley, crews have been conducting surveillance flights over the Sierra. No sooner were they in the air this morning than they spotted a lightning spark fire near Placerville that quickly grew to 35 acres just after a storm passed through. Uh, we had to avoid the uh, rain and the uh, uh, storm as it came in so to get to behind it so we didn't get involved in it to, to get to the fire. Despite all its resources deployed to look for fires, CAL FIRE says it still relies on ordinary citizens to be its best set of eyes. CAL FIRE officials say it's okay to call 911 when you spot a fire, and they say they'd rather get too many calls about the same fire than none at all. That occasionally does happen where everybody assumes somebody else has already taken care of it or somebody else has already said something, and it gets well established before we start getting reports on it. And there you see live some thunderheads building over the Sierra tonight. Now, as bad as lightning can be, firefighters remind us that most fires are still caused by people, and that can be especially problematic on a holiday weekend like this when the mountains will be packed. Live in Auburn, David B. to KCRA 3 News. David, thanks.